Ciao guys, I'm Woody here, so in this video we're gonna see how to personalize every control for every VR controllers on Steam VR with the new update. But first, thank you so much for watching. If you're new from the channel, feel free to check out all the other videos in the channel. And if you like what you see and want to keep being updated about VR and tech in general, just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. But let's go back in topic and let's switch to the computer to show you how to put it on and it's super super easy and also how to use it from the, your PC instead from inside VR like they suggest to do uh, on the Steam VR news. So let's do it together and let's switch on the computer right now. Okay so here we are on the computer and what you see open on Steam is the controllers been introduction with the news that we had two days ago from Steam VR. Uh, to like explain a little what is that. And that's actually very interesting, like you, you can see from the image that all the controllers were gonna be supported. And they also say that controllers that are not even here yet, and maybe you need to do something for a game that when was released didn't have even those controllers will be supported. So we're gonna be able to just personalize everything like for our own taste and stuff. And the most important thing that we can save those uh, on the Steam Workshop so we can share the binding of our controllers and stuff and just go nuts with that and, and that's great because it's great for accessibility so like if you not able to like uh, use a controller on some way you're gonna be able to just uh, recreate your own controller and uh, just open so many possibilities that before weren't there and it's so so welcome this new update because really like it takes out a big like closed mind part of VR that is always with problem ad where uh, we have um, a platform there, a platform there and they're not communicating each other at all. Sometimes like you get fallout and you can't play it because it was on the vibe. Uh, instead now we can just personalize everything to make it work there too. So. Uh, what to explain here uh, how to open this UI uh, it's easy what it says is like that is available in the in headset under the setting menu and many people weren't able to get there and stuff so let's explain how to do it it's very easy uh, just following the instruction but you go on library and we go on tools over here and then we look for steam VR and we have to go on properties with the right click and go on the beta branch and opt for the beta. Now, uh, it's pretty stable the beta, so you don't have problem, but if you're not a beta guy, probably like you can wait, it's gonna arrive pretty soon for sure uh, in the regular beta branch, uh, not beta branch. But here we are in the beta, we opt in the beta, when you click it, it's gonna download it super fast, so there's not even a long wait for it, and, and then the menu will appear in your Steam VR menu but be aware the steam vr has to be open for it because you're not going to be able to assess the part if steam vr is not open so we go here uh, now just to uh, show you what's going on uh, here is already open with my vive uh, just a second but let's go back and see how to uh, show you how to get there so we go on settings and and then this part controller binding will appear we click on it and the page we are gonna see let me go back control binding in the page we're gonna see is this with the more recent application and stuff uh, so what we can personalize so if you don't have here just open the game close it and it's gonna appear in the recent application then we go like an uh, Arrowborn there's a new game we're gonna get released they're working on it it's very very nice um, and over here we go on edit and we're gonna be able to edit everything but we both know that sometimes uh, we just don't want to work in VR to do some editing stuff and everything uh, because the screen maybe is not super comfortable and stuff and we want to get it from uh, the browser. So that's why over here you see this link that I'm going to leave in the description below. And what you do is just copy and paste on the browser. Use Chrome because Edge doesn't work for it for some reason. Weird, right? Uh, we'll use Edge anyway beside me and so uh, you get in here you copy and paste that and you're gonna be able to get in the same 
menu, exactly the same menu. But be aware, Steam VR has to be open. Steam VR will be here, maybe or will be under my face. So Steam VR over here has to be open, or it's not gonna work. So you get there. You want to put Pavlo with your Xbox controller. You. Uh, you connect your Xbox controller over here. You can change it and put the Xbox controller. In this case, it's not connected for me. You go on edit and you can edit everything. You can edit the haptics. So you can like also have the haptics in the both controller, even just in one if you want or take it out and stuff. Uh, edit action poses. So the position of our controllers and the cards and the buttons and everything. It's very, very nice. Give you a lot of possibilities. So just uh, really, if it's something for you, just go nuts and uh, the community uh, will for sure appreciate everything uh, is coming out of there. Then you can publish, uh, you can save it for personal binding, of course, or you can publish to the workshop so everybody can, of course, use it uh, like you do. So, uh, that was all. I feel like it's a super, super great the possibility that now is opening with Steam VR, as I said at the beginning. Uh, the video is going a little long, just to a little description of what's going on. But, as I always said, like this is the step in the right direction for sure in VR, because all the platforms are so divided, and with this we can start a little to personalize uh, what we can do, at least with our controller. Things that we are able to do on the consoles, from very very long time, um, like uh, on the Xbox, con uh, Xbox, you can do it from very very long time with the lead controller. You have like so many uh, buttons and stuff to personalize it, and it's just a step that is very very useful. Also, they're starting to talk about the knuckles, uh, and it's great because we are almost there. I hope uh, for the um, release of the knuckles controller, we're gonna have super nice controller also. For the vibe. Anyway, this works with Windows Mixed Reality, the Oculus, uh, with uh, uh, Vive, of course. With uh, I didn't try with Windows Mixed Reality yet, but um, I'm sure we're gonna be able to use the, uh, the, the instead of the touchpad, uh, the trackpad, and that's all pretty much. So Xbox controller too. Every controller you have, you can just personalize and use it, and that's just great. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Let me know in the comment below what you think about it. Uh, if you have any uh, workshop link to to share with me, share below so uh, we can have a little bit of an easier bidding all together. And subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.